Hi guys, today we're gonna be talking about how to make a rope coil basket. And first we're going to go over what you get in your kit. So you have a rope. This is actually clothesline. Um, two different colors of embroidery thread and you get a needle and a needle threader. So to get started, you're gonna take your rope and your rope will have tape on this end. Don't worry about that right now because um, you're gonna cut it off later. So you have your needle threaded and you're gonna tie a knot in the end of your thread. There we go. And you're gonna start maybe an inch up from the end. And just pull it through until the knot meets the thread and you're gonna hold it they're like that and you're just going to wrap the thread around your cord. And you get it as far as you want it. I'm going to poke the needle through the rope again. Actually, going to trim this off. And then you're just going to bend it over on itself one time, just like that. So then you're going to do it again. So you have your thread wrapped part in the middle. And then you're going to poke your needle all the way through. Pull it tight. And then you're going to put it all the way through again. You can push it down on the table just to get it through there or use a pair of pliers. And so from this point, I'm going to wrap it a little bit more and you're just going to go through the rope on the inside of the round below the one you're on. Move over a little bit. And you're going to keep doing that until you get your base as big as you want it. This some Instructions I've seen on how to do this, do it a little bit differently than I do. I'm going every row. Some have you do uh, just one the stitch goes on each row below. Some will have you do one stitch on each 
row and then the next stitch will go two rows below. I think this way looks a little bit neater, so that's why I do it this way. I'm going to stop right here and pretend that I ran out of thread. So when you get to the end, you'll just run it back through where you came out. Kind of catch underneath the rope a little bit. again. And I'm just going to cut that off. So we're going to pretend this is you've re-threaded your needle. I'm going to tie another knot. And you're going to start exactly in the place you stopped at, which is actually right here. And don't worry about that, you're going to cut that off later. But then you're just going to keep going. So when you get your base as big as you want it, you're going to start this is about three or four inches across. You're going to start wanting to build up your sides. So to do that, you're going to take your rope and hold it a little bit kind of diagonally. If you want your bowl to the sides to go out a little bit like this one does, if you go straight on top, you're going to get something that looks more like this, where it goes straight up. In this round, you might want to go two down just to hold it a little bit better. And if you have trouble um, getting the needle through, you can grab a pair of pliers. That makes it easier, especially if you end up using black thread, which I've seen. That's what I used on this one. It is much more difficult to get the needle through when you're using wax thread, but that is an option. So you can see how the sides are starting to come up a little bit. Now if you're going to, if you decide you don't want to make a basket and want to make a coaster or pot holder, I would not use the wax thread because it will melt. And 
I haven't tried washing it, but it probably doesn't wash very well. So you would just keep going and adjusting to make sure that this outside row is just sitting a little bit above your base. And then once you get back around where you started, do it going two rows below. You could hold it there. You could still go two rows below all the way up just to make sure and give it a little more flexibility and get it where you want it. Or you can start going back to one row below if you wish. Now once you get your sides as high as you want them, you could pick a stopping place and um, wrap your thread around the end like I've done here and then secure it to the rest of your basket. Or you could get another piece of thread and then start again on the end just like you started. And hopefully you don't snag your cord like I just did. And you're gonna wrap your ends like you did at the beginning. And make another coil. Get this last little bit secured here. this off on the back. And putting it through the top of the basket and the top of the little decoration. This is where we're going to tie it off and make a loop. Pull it through. Go up again with another loop. Pull my needle through that. through the back. So now it's stitched to the top. 
We're gonna tie another knot. On the inside, do the bottom of the little decoration. And this just has to be a few times because you're you're only just tacking it down. Catch some threads and walk through the loop. That one more time. Set this off. And now you have your basket with your little decoration. And just if you decide you like this and want to do more than what your kit will allow. This is the clothesline. It's, I bought it off of Amazon um, very inexpensively. Embroidery thread is cheap. Um, you could also get wax thread, but like I said, if you do use this, uh, you'll probably want a pair of pliers to get started with because it is quite difficult to pull the needle through. And you need a um, size one or two embroidery needles. So. That's it, and I hope you had fun making your rope coil basket. Do you want to learn a new language? Try Bluebird. You can learn over 160 different languages all in your native tongue. To get started, visit allenlibrary.org slash digital library and select Bluebird Languages.